Hi my friends, today we model this part. It has some interesting features being uh, not uh, symmetrical as you can see in the drawing. We start by creating this contour with dimensions uh, 118, 73, 9, 7, 94. Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT, XY plane, and we draw a contour as uh, similar as we can with uh, that uh, contour but without a special scale. Now we apply the first dimension, this one, and you'll see that everything is scaling. This is uh, 74. See? We place this line coincident with this point and this line coincident with the center point. Other dimensions this is 94 and this is 118 9 7 and diameter of 73. We have a fully constrained sketch. Dimensions are that uh, you already saw in the drawing. Finish sketch, revolve, and the first volume is ready to be used. We continue by creating this uh, cylinder placed at uh, 10.5 with a radius of 36.75. This is the face, circle with a radius of uh, 36.75 we place it on the same vertical with a center point at a distance of 10.5 Finish sketch. The extrusion is uh, 48. We are here with 74. Yes. Extrude with cut on 48. Okay. Next are these two small cuts. 10 degrees, 10 degrees. Good. This is the face for a new sketch. We draw a line from the circle to the center, from the center 
to the circle. They are placed on the same horizontal. I place only one angle as a dimension, not two. But firstly, I have to place a line for that uh, dimensioning. This line is construction. 10 degrees for one, it goes also to the other one. Finish sketch, extrude this area, the other direction or cut to this face. Okay. Now we have to create this cut you see here. Yes. And uh, this uh, edge is placed at uh, 4 degrees angle from vertical. That uh, dimension is 53. 53 is here. We create a new plane based on this one xz and this axis x. The angle is minus 4 degrees. This will be the new plane. Okay, it is sloped. We use it to create a new sketch F7. We project this line, this line, and this. A new line is uh, this one. And the only dimension is uh, the distance of uh, 53. We have a fully constrained sketch. Extrude. Cut all the way through the part. And we hide the plane. Then we create this uh, revolving volume. It is placed on the same axis as this one at 10.5. Dimensions are 14, 11, 37, 40, 47. We start by creating a new axis of this uh, uh, feature and we use the plane XY F7 we project that axis we make it uh, as a center line we project this face and this face and we draw that uh, contour from the center to up horizontal down horizontal up and we go here dimensions this is 47 this small is 37 and this is 40 
forte then this line is placed at 11 from that face and this is uh, 14 we have a fully constrained sketch we apply revolve with cut okay I hide that uh, work axis now the holes you see here six holes of uh, six millimeters diameter equidistant they start from this point which is placed on the same horizontal with the last uh, feature 60 degrees all around and another hole of uh, six is this one placed at 15 degrees this diameter is 110 let's create this uh, entities I project this circle to obtain its center then I draw a circle with uh, this center and the diameter of 110 I draw a line from this point horizontal to this circle finish sketch hole placed here diameter of 6 ok now I apply circular pattern for the last feature about this axis 6 is the number of holes so we have placed them here but we don't forget this hole at 15 on the same circle to do this we select this face we draw a line from this uh, center and with a length of 110 divided by 2 tab the angle is 19 minus 15 finish sketch hole select the point ok now we take a look to these two fillets they are the only ones the three millimeters radii three okay then we take a look at the chamfers the chamfers are 0 0.55 degrees they are one and two no other chamfers and this is 0 0.5 placed and this two on these two edges other three holes are placed 
on the other face three holes with uh, dimensions metric six equidistant with depth nine and eleven on a diameter of sixty new sketch we project uh, this circle we draw a line of uh, 60 divided by 2 then we place there that hole threaded isometric profile matrix 6 with an end placed here and dimensions are 9 and 11 okay circular pattern of the last feature about this axis not six but three times good now let's see what is the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is almost the same not identical we eliminate the previous value and we select that one that we created together here now the material is uh, still carbon view shaded without edges and default lights now we can compare the two and we don't see any difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye